So you will notice that there's two fuses. Okay, so this is probably why the 2018s are a little louder. All right, we got the plastic top and the 2015 version. What's going on guys, it's Cody B Pyrotechnics and today we are going to be doing another what's inside video as well as a comparison between the 2015 X-Cals and the 2018 Plastic Top Edition. Now, both of these shells, though the 2015s are kind of old, are still available at most retail locations that carry world-class fireworks. These Excalibur shells here are mass-produced, meaning that there are still a ton of the 2015 and 2018 shells on the market. So for those of you wondering, the answer is yes, you can likely still purchase both of these shell kits at your local world-class fireworks dealer. All right, let's get right into the weigh-in. Here's what I've done. I've created this little list uh, where we're gonna weigh the lift, fuse, and brake on each shell. Um, this one has a plastic top, as you can see, so they are a little different. The reason I'm doing this is because I feel like one of these shells is better than the other. I've always kind of leaned towards the 2018 X-Cals here. Uh, for some reason, they tend to break a little heavier than the older editions, um, and because of that, I wanna see if there's any difference at all in the weight. So let's go ahead and start with 2015. You can see right here, we're coming in at 152. And on this one here, 144. So just about a 10 gram difference. And we're obviously gonna take apart the red one because of that. This one here, 137. So definitely a little lighter. And that one is 124. So surprisingly, the 2018s weigh less than the 2015s. Um, we're going to see if that makes any difference at all. So let's go ahead and start cutting into the red one. Okay, so I'm going to weigh this cup first. That weighs 5 grams. I'm going to zero that. Hope you guys can see these numbers. And then we're going to take the lift out of the bottom. Now you'll notice, um, this, this is the other thing that I really wanted to bring up here. So you will notice that there's two fuses. Okay, so this is probably why the 2018s are a little louder. Because they don't have these two fuses here. So what they've done, I've made a video on this before. I'm gonna link it right up here if you haven't seen it already. Uh, there's actually two lift charge components, so we're gonna have to weigh both. There's one down here and one up here. They have done that so that if you load this canister shell upside down, it is still going to fire up in the air and not stay in the tube and flower pot like we've been used to. So they actually fixed that problem. I think it's kind of cool, but then again, it takes away from the break. Uh, so not really a fan of that, but Let's cut into this lift. Remember, there's going to be two lift charges that we have to take out and weigh. And we zeroed the scale, so let me just take this little cap off. Okay. We should just be able to pour that right in. Okay, so we've got eight grams of lift in the bottom, which was this side. Now we have to take the lift charge out of the top. I know that's kind of weird to say, um, but yeah, they definitely do that. So check this out. Look at that. That's crazy. Okay, so we got to dump this in too, and I'm going to move this scale a little closer. All right. So we're at 8 grams of lift so far. So 15, 15 grams of lift in total between the bottom and the top. So that's 15 grams down the drain right there. Keep that in mind. Um, next thing we want to do is the fuse. So, actually we don't even need a cup for that. I'm just going to put it right on the thing. Uh, let's get this fuse out of here. And they use all this tape too, so uh, put that there. Wait, why does that say minus? So let's zero that again. Okay, that doesn't weigh a thing. Let's get this one out. All right, so we are at two grams. I'd say give or take a gram. Probably three grams for the fuse. So we've also got to be writing this stuff down. Uh, so far, we're at 15 grams of lift, two grams for the fuse. We're going to see how much this break is. All right, so we've got it cut in half here. Now I'm just going to weigh it. We've already zeroed the scale, as you can see. Um, and one thing that I think is kind of cool is the powder that is within this shell has not seen the light of day since 2015. So this is the first time it's meeting air in that long. Okay, what do we got here? All right, let's see if we can twist that off. I don't know if you guys can see this. OK, 
Okay, don't thrust that in. All right, that's gonna do it for that half. And then we still have a bunch of little stars in here. Let's dump that in. All right, there you have it. 37 grams of break right there. So that is it right there. The 2015s have 36 in break, two grams in fuse and 15 grams in lift. And that makes up your 60 gram canister shell. Um, don't get me wrong, I am in love with Excalibur shells. I've been buying them since I was 12. I think for the price point, you really cannot go wrong with these either way. Regardless, that 35 grams of break is going to sound way louder than anything you're gonna buy in a cake. So in Excalibur's defense, I still buy them. All right, now for the part that I am most excited about. We are going to crack into these plastic top ones from 2018. I firmly believe that these are one of the better canister shells. Um, these are actually one of my top 10 favorites right here. It seems like every year I end up buying one or two cases of these shells. Um, there is a new X-Cal coming. It's five inches in length. And I can't wait to demo those on the channel. And we're going to be doing a comparison between this one, this one, and the five inch. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with the lift on the 2018 shell. All right, just gonna peel that back a little bit. Oops, something happened here. Uh oh. All right, so the battery died, but we're just gonna dump it into this cup. You can see I zeroed it. So we got nine grams here in the 2018 for the lift. So we're gonna write down nine. I'm gonna have to do this video kind of fast because the battery is dying pretty quick. Okay, now let's get this fuse weighed. I don't think it's gonna weigh anything, but we'll find out. Okay, two grams for the fuse, so the same as the 2015. All right, now the moment you've all been waiting for, you can see the scale is at zero. Let's see how loaded these babies are. Okay, I think I cut it in a bad spot. Okay, so there was nothing I could do to avoid this, but as you can see, some of the clay weight actually made it into the cup. So right now they're coming in at 53, which would put them over 60 grams, but that's not correct. Um, a little bit of that clay or sawdust or whatever. I mean, regardless, it's not all that noticeable. Uh, you can see there is a little bit of orange tint there in the bottom, but it's not a lot of clay weight. So I would say these things come in at like 45, maybe 50 grams of break. Um, so just to be, certain we're just gonna put like 46 here because i think that's about right so definitely um now you know if you're gonna buy excalibur shells and you see them with the plastic top buy those instead of the 2015s because the break is what we're after here uh, we don't necessarily need that double lift because anybody that has half a mind is going to load it properly in the tube um, so we don't need to worry about that backup plan okay i hope you guys enjoyed now we are going to go shoot these two off side by side so we can see the difference all right, here goes the lift charge from the shells. Like a special effect, okay? Now here goes all the brake comp from those two shells. That was epic. All right, we got the plastic top and the 2015 version. So let's go ahead and start with the 2015. Still broke pretty hard, I can't deny. But here goes the plastic top. And these are definitely my favorite of the two. just a tad louder. And that first one actually went a lot higher.